So I realized after last night of posting this that it didn't have sound. So that first baffle is glued. Yeah, it looks kind of crappy, but, you know, it gives you a generalistic idea of what I'm doing and how I'm uh, building this sump from an old 20-gallon that used to be a pea puffer tank and um, what else was it? Clown gobies? I think that's what they were. Anyways, long story short, I uh, am doing a voiceover for this right now. Going to repost the video in like a few minutes. Anyways, the next baffle is going to be glued in today and then the other one behind it. It's a little harder to uh, glue in multiple baffles like this. But you see how the the baffle itself is one's a little higher than the other. That's the way I'm going to do it. Because I've been looking at other people's sump design builds and stuff like that. But overall, it's not very hard to do. Like, anybody could do it. It's not rocket science. Um, but yeah, it's for a 50-gallon low boy. And I don't know why this didn't record sound on YouTube last night, but it didn't. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna have to go through and edit that too, but, um, yeah, you see how, like, there's a very, very small space, it's gonna be hard for me to stick my hand in there, but I'll manage, I'll get the glue in there somehow, some way, and, uh, yeah, you don't have to do this type of design, but that's what I'm choosing. The 50 gallon low boy is uh, right over around the corner from this tank right now. It's just sitting in another room. I just bought it like two weeks ago. Yeah, it's used, but it was a frag tank before and it's going to be a frag tank again. Here's the 50 gallon low boy right there. Like I said around the corner from the other one but yeah it's gonna be my first sump build in a long time I mean I've had sumps before but I've never done a sump build myself I can't say I have um, but yeah that is gonna replace the uh, 20 gallon or no 25 gallon uh, hospital tank that I usually use that's downstairs there. I've also got a another 50 gallon. It's either a 50 or a 40. I think it might be a 40. But it's an older tank and I've used that for like I want to say going on 6 years now. The one that's upstairs in my bedroom. And you know, I might even get around to buying a new, another uh, 50 gallon. If not, I'll, I'll probably end up setting up my uh, 110 gallon acrylic tank and see about like drilling that or whatever, you know. I haven't decided on that yet. But all that is going to go on this one stand. And yeah. I wish I would have designed the bottom of the stand that you could kind of see somewhat through the glass of this video, but uh, I wish I would have made it to where I could put a lot or a wide tank down there, but I didn't. I mean, I get what I get at this point. Um, I'll be happy when all this shit's said and done. But yeah, that's pretty much it. And I think I know why the sound didn't record on this video last night. It's because I had my my uh, charger block in, and yeah, the cord was in, so it was probably blocking the mic, and I recorded it on my iPad, so you kind of get what you get again. But uh, yeah. 
Hope you all enjoy this. Keep it fishy. From your boy, Nick the Dick. Anyway, I'm going to stop my voiceover right here. Even though there's like, what, 15 more seconds? But yeah, pretty much where those last two baffles on the left are is where I'm going to glue them. And the box is just in there for uh, reference and to kind of hold that, that baffle up. For the video but yeah the box isn't permanent is what I'm trying to tell you and I actually decided that I was gonna move these a little further forward so that I have enough room for a fuge which is a refugium by the way for those people that don't know salt water but yeah hope you guys enjoy